Hey guys, I have a art journal page to share with you today for one of our 13 days of Halloween projects. I'm starting out with um, these remnant rubs by Tim Holtz and I got them two years ago on clearance so that tells you how old they are. <laughs> I don't know when they're from and they're definitely not the new ones. Um, so there's a white version in the pack and I'm my idea for this page, well, one of my ideas was I wanted to um, experiment, experiment with different kinds of, like, resists. So um, the rub-ons are going to give um, a certain kind of resist. And I'm just taking the, um, they're like little words and stuff, and I'm just using my popsicle stick to apply them randomly all over. It doesn't matter to me that you can't see like the whole words or whatever because I really just wanted it for a little bit of a textural element in the background. And then another resist I wanted to work with is embossing with white embossing powder. So I'm taking this stamp by Viva Las Vegas Stamps. It's a Halloween sentiment stamp. And I'm just going to randomly stamp all over my background. And the same with the um, rub-ons. I don't care that you probably won't be able to see like the whole sentiment or make out what it says. And after I was looking at it, I stamped it pretty good. <laughs> so I took my paintbrush and kind of um, made some splotchy areas so that you couldn't really read what it said. Because I, I don't want it to be like a... Like a, a a focus thing in the background. I just want it to be like a little element. And then as I was um, heat embossing that with my heat gun, I noticed that the rub-ons were like peeling up, I guess from the heat gun. And I was a little frustrated by that to be honest. But I mean, that's the thing with these kind of layers and everything. You don't, you don't really, really know what's gonna happen. And for me, I just need to accept it and move on and try to work with it. So, once um, my resists are done in the background, I'm going to add some paint, and the first paint I have is some handmade modern acrylic paint in the color Slate, which is a Target brand, and I'm going to mix the paint with a little bit of water in my craft sheet, and then once I apply it to my page, I'm going to add a ton of water. I want it to be very flowy and um, runny around the background. I'm gonna dry that later, layer and then go in with the Liquitex Muted Collection Muted um, Gray. I showed you Muted Violet as well, but I don't end up using that color. Now Muted Gray to me looks very purple, which is okay because it's a Halloween thing, so it works for me. I love the Muted Collection. And um, the reason I use where I have the Muted Collection and Soft Body Paint, which these are actually the only soft body paints I have is because when they came out with the muted collection I wanted all of it I wanted the heavy body I wanted the inks and I well I wanted the heavy body and the inks so I thought a good compromise would be the soft body because I thought I could thin it out and make it like an ink and I thought I could thicken it up and make it like a heavy body and I am able to thin it out and make it like an ink but I have not been able to figure out a way to make it heavy body <laughs> <laughs> so in retrospect, I probably wish I would have gotten the heavy body. And if you have a um, Blick art supply store near you, like a brick and mortar one, they have Liquitex paints on clearance right now. One of my um, online friends told me and um, they have some of the muted collection. Um, they do have it on clearance online, but it's not a big clearance number. They It's a lot cheaper if you get it in store. Okay, so another thing I want to do on this page is work with the image transfer. And I have all these like creepy old photographs for, of like people in Halloween costumes. And um, so I chose this picture of this group of like witches. And this is how I do my image transfer. And Spoiler alert, it doesn't work out for me that well. And this is the only time that I've ever not had a perfect image transfer. So I use um, matte medium, not gel medium, matte medium. And I put a layer down on my surface. And then I put a layer down on the front of my image. And then I put my image down on my paper, face down. And then burnish it really well so that all... Um, points of the paper come in contact with the surface and then I let it sit for a little bit peel the paper back and Hopefully reveal the image, but I don't know if it's because my paper was so bumpy and 
I don't know, but it didn't, it did not work out for me that well. Um, big chunks pulled up from the back and there's holes in it. Um, so yeah. And then I put a layer of matte medium on top to seal everything in. And then I thought I've never done an image transfer with like a dictionary page or book page. And I know you can do it. So I took this dictionary page and I did the same thing, matte medium down and then put my dictionary page and then I'm going to let it sit for a little bit and work on um, covering some of those holes up in my image transfer of the witches. I'm just going to put a little paint on top of the um, the holes so that you can't see them as well. And then I'm working back on my dictionary page and the image transfer did not work for me at all. <laughs> so um, after I realized it wasn't going to work, I just left it go and now it just looks like there's dictionary page stuck down there, which is fine. Um, so then I'm going to add a little bit more of that muted gray around um, the edges and um, then I'm going to work on a little cluster, an element cluster in the upper right to kind of balance out um, my composition. So I have this circle 31 from the Tim Holtz ephemera pack, which I roughed up with my um, paper distressor. I'm going to edge it with some black soot distress ink. And then I'm going to take um, a phrase sticker that says the witches and I'm going to back that with some plain muslin. And then I had this little clip there and I really wanted to make it work, but I just couldn't figure out how to make the clip work so that you could see the clip. Um, so then I, I thought I needed a third element because I like to have elements of three. So I took out one of these um, chipboard stars from Umwow Studio. It's called Star Confetti. And I embossed it with some gunmetal ranger embossing powder. And then I'm just going to stick all my stuff down there with some clear tacky glue. It's a pretty um, simple page, um, but, you know, I, I wanted to experiment, you know, with the resist and everything, and I really enjoyed how the resist turn, turn out, and I actually don't hate the image transfer either. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye, guys.